Hi everyone, welcome to State of the Game, the 17th of August. Well, totally remember the date. You nailed the date. All by myself. Yes. Thanks. All right, <laughs> I'm really good at dates. Easy. Yeah. How's it going everyone? Thanks for showing up. Uh, hi Cal, hi Bound Diesel, what's up Ranger84? Always good to see people here. Hi. Happy 1.7 by the way. Shield. It's been Josh Shield. It's been what, uh, two days since... Uh, yes. You know, a little bit over 40, 50, 52 hours since, since 1.7's been out. I had a blast playing it. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not without issues, of course. Yep. Um, we, yeah. We, that's what we're here to talk about. Um, but I mean, it, I'm, I'm super happy. I mean, I, you had a, a go on the stream yesterday? Yeah, I played yesterday. Um, yeah. I, uh, I don't know, I was grinding HVTs, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I did my HVTs dailies and weeklies. Uh, yeah, I got a few caches, a few classified gear set in there, so that was fun. Nice. All right, so there's, yes, leaderboards, masks, and all that. We will, uh, we will talk, yeah, about we'll that talk about that in just a second. Um, firstly, there was a maintenance this morning, so what, the usual three-hour yep. thing. Yeah. Uh, a couple of issues were fixed. Um, uh, cheese for the encrypted caches. Yes. Uh, that was fixed. Yeah, that was one that would allow players to get some players to get uh, infinite amount of keys, other players just like more amount, more keys for free than they should get or whatever. Mm -hmm. So this one has been fixed. Uh, it should no longer happen. Perfect. Uh, and also another issue where agents would not always receive all global event token rewards for completing a mission while a global event activity modifier was active. Yes, Good. I think it had to do with when you would die during a mission and there was a modifier active, then you would not get the uh, modifier tokens cool. somehow. Nice. So this has been fixed. All right. Spider shield, you copied my shield builds and you added the ninja back. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. I haven't worked on my build yet since 1.7, nice. so I was still running with my old shield build, which still works, but I'm sure it can be made better with ninja bike now. All right. 1.8. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we're gonna talk about masks. Masks yes. and leaderboards. Yes. Uh, we will be talking about. Uh, I know people ask, you know, who wins uh, 1.8. We will get to that. Not today. There will be a day when we talk about 1.8. Yes. Yes. Um, so the big thing that everyone's talking about. Um, for good reason, masks and leaderboards and how that whole thing yeah. works. Because it's a, if you haven't been paying attention, I'm sure like 99% of the people in chat have been. You know, they're our core, hardcore yeah. community. So you know what we're talking about when we talk about masks, the new vanity item slot that is yeah, tied yeah. to global events. Now, there's one being confusion uh, as to how the whole thing works. Yeah. Um, and two, uh, people have different feelings about uh, how it should work and yeah, and, and, and this sort of thing. So we kind of wanted to go through that today and um, unpack it a bit and yeah. just chat about it and mm. give a bit yeah, of clarity. Yeah, because we, we talked a bit about it and like yesterday when I was streaming and probably when you were streaming yeah, as totally. well, a lot of people were having questions about how it works and we were not entirely clear on how it actually works. We were just equally as confused as some of you guys. Yeah, for sure. So <laughs> I've been doing a bit of homework and I have like a clearer explanation on how it actually works. Yeah. So we can we can give that explanation. Exactly. Peter, could you do me a favor and just turn up the master volume on the uh, the, the big right slider? Yeah, just a little bit. It's a Not bit too quiet, far. quiet, apparently. Not too far. All right, cool. We, we should just start yelling. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Um, so for the people that don't know, masks are rewarded and they're tied to the leaderboards, which you find in the new area. The terminal, there's yes. a little bit of information down there. But the information that you kind of can get from the leaderboard is a little bit yep. minimal. Yep. So it's kind of confusing. Um, the leaderboards are based on the overall best hour of gameplay. I think that's that's where I, I mean I myself had a bit of confusion over yeah. that because it reads as um, global event tokens per hour. Yeah. And then a value. Yeah, and there's been some people that uh, thought that this meant the average uh, per hour that you do. So yeah. overall, I thought, you know, I the, the, the complete like the total gameplay time that you did. That's not how it works. It's just basically like counting, uh, you know, the amount of global event token you got in the last 60 minutes all the time, and it's just like taking the peak where you reach the highest, and this is your ranking in the leaderboards. Uh, I know that I've seen, um, I've seen some people reporting issues yep. where their, uh, their like, total actually goes down, mm. and it shouldn't. So that is not how it should work, so there apparently seems to be an issue with that, and we'll have to look into that. Mm. Uh, but that's not how it should work. So it's not like it's reset every day or something. It's like your total should never go down uh, or your ranking should never go down. Yeah, I saw someone in chat saying, yeah, my score goes down. Yes, we, that is a known issue. Yeah, and that's, uh, yeah, that's not how it should be. It should be like always taking the highest you've reached for the, the entire duration of the global event. So if you reach, you know, whatever, 7,000 at your highest, 
It doesn't matter if you didn't reach 7,000 in the following days. Your highest was 7,000. This is the score you will have for the leaderboard. Yes, exactly. Uh, what else do we have here? So it's a tier-based system, so for a bit more clarity. Yeah. Um, the, there are three tiers. Yeah. Um, and the tier one, so tier one is, you know, you know, average. Tier two, exceptional, and tier three is insane. Right? You can name them like that. I'm just trying, because... Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, tier one is not the top tier. No. Let's just be clear. No, that's, right. that's also one of the, the confusions is yeah. uh, the way it's been named. So mm -hmm. yeah, tier one is the lowest reward tier, then tier two and tier three is the highest yes. one. Okay. So tier one, uh, the top 50% of players will end up... In, in at least tier about, one. At least tier one. Yeah, you have All to right. be in the top 50% to uh, qualify for a reward, basically. Yes. And tier one... Uh, Tier one basically makes it so that you will get one mask as yes. a reward. Yeah. Um, so then tier two is the top 15%, so yep. you'll get another mask mm. plus the tier one mask, yeah. and uh, the tier three, which is the top 5% of players, will get all three yeah. masks. So it's, uh, just to be clear, that means that if you're between 50, like if you're between 50 to 16%, you will be in tier one, from 15 to 6%, you will be in tier two, and five and above, you will be in tier three. Yes, exactly. So, yeah, and that means all the bottom 50 uh, do not get a reward. Yes. Or do not get a mask. Uh, don't get a vanity reward, yes. Uh, yeah. Does a solo player um, have a chance? Well, this is one of the things. I mean, I, I totally understand where uh, solo players will be coming from because, to be fair, this, this system is better for groups because yeah, you can run stuff faster. So, uh, because, you. yeah, with the, with the group modifier, you get, uh, I mean, like, if you take the... Uh, the highest one, you like it makes it way easier to do content. So definitely, when you have a group and especially like a good coordinated group, uh, you can definitely reach higher, uh, you know, uh, tokens per hour sure. uh, ratio. That's for sure. Uh, so now the thing is, there's two things to mention here because obviously there's been a lot of discussion. There is still a lot of discussion, and I read TX6 Cowboy putting in caps terrible system. Uh, there's been yeah, there's been a lot of feedback on that. Mm -hmm. uh, so. One thing that I wanted to mention is the reason why we went with per hour and not total. Um, per single hour, yeah, not, per, not average per hour. Yeah, not average per hour. And also not why we didn't go with the total amount of uh, tokens that you, you know, grinded is because, especially because we didn't want to make it just a playtime thing. We didn't want to, first, we didn't want to make it so that we reward the people that spend the most time in the global event, which would have been going with the option of leaderboards per total tokens accumulated. Mm -hmm. So we didn't want to go with that. And we didn't want to go with average per hour on the total playtime, because that would also mean that we would actually punish you for playing longer if you don't perform always at the top. Yeah, so that's exactly. why we went with the best hour of gameplay. We thought that was the best way to give a chance for people uh, that we don't necessarily have, you know, like dozens of hours to put in the in the global event. If you yeah. just have ten hours or whatever you can put in the global event, you still have a chance to get a, like to reach a pretty high uh, performance per hour. Now, one thing that is definitely very much up for discussion, and we see uh, we've seen a lot of people that say uh, that we should tie it to commendations, and that's a very that's very good feedback. That's a very good point, and. You know, I can't tell you why it wasn't done in before, but we are definitely looking at improving the system. Uh, yeah. And commendations is definitely something that we are considering, and there's a discussion going on right now about yeah, if we should do it and how we can do it. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is definitely this is definitely something that we want to look at uh, for improvements of the system because we see that uh, it's very much debated, and yeah, we kind of agree that just tying it to leaderboard is actually uh, you know very limiting. So we are looking at making improvements. Now, kind of both short term and long term. So we're trying to see what we can do for this global event to try to make sure that people don't feel left out because obviously the, the proposed solution is not satisfying. So we're trying to see if there is anything we can do for this global event and also like a more you know healthier solution for the future ones. Yeah. You know, I see a lot of people asking, have we seen Marco's video and, and that sort of thing. Hey, of course, great video. Yeah. Uh, there's um, one of the other questions I had was, uh, you know, people are concerned that uh, people are at the top of the leaderboards for hacking, to be, to be blunt. Um, these, uh, it's easy for us to check those accounts for suspicious activity. And like with anything, um, if you are caught cheating, you will be permabanned. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so I mean, that's, 
That's the thing, at least with the leaderboard system, is just that it's easy for us to see who are the, you know, the good performers, and it's easy for us then to look at how they are actually achieving these uh, scores and yeah. see if, it, if this was in a legit way or not. I know that there's debate over cheese or not cheese. There are definitely optimized ways to get uh, tokens, yeah. and that's you know one of the downside of going with. Uh, tokens per hour, or like highest tokens per hour, because in a way that's kind of encouraging people in finding the most optimized ways uh, to gain tokens. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's definitely how these guys are achieving these kind of uh, scores. Yep. But of course, then we can look at, you know, if that was actually legit gameplay and just, you know, good optimized gameplay, or if there were some cheats involved. Yes, exactly. Um, so we will yeah, do that. Yeah. Uh, and then there are hackers. So this is what we are just talking about, Supergeek. Yep. Um, but so yeah, I mean it's overall just to just to make it clear, uh, yeah, we know that the leaderboard going purely with the leaderboard system, we know that uh, this is something you guys are not happy with. So we are we are looking at that. Just want to make that clear. Uh, so keep you know keep the feedback going. Just tell us. Uh, yeah, but I, I know that we you know kind of agree with you. Exactly. I think we. I've seen. I mentioned Marco's video before. Um, Really good critical feedback and, and those sorts of things are great for us to pass on. Um, so yeah. it's, while it's great for you to tell us you don't like something, that's, that's cool. Like yeah. we, we get that and, and we hear you. Um, if you have ideas um, or solutions that you like, please throw your voice into the ring because that, uh, that's always good. Yeah. It's always really good. Um, okay. What else we got? Uh, I open 90 exotic caches and get two shitty ninja. <laughs> RNG. Exactly. Uh, if they are coming with commendation, is that a 1.8 or with a maintenance? It's we don't know yet. It's too early to tell. We are, we are looking at that. We are looking at that. It would definitely be probably a client thing. Uh, so we would need a client patch, which means it's not something we could deploy easily during a server maintenance. Uh, so if we add them to commendation, that's definitely not something we will be able to do for this global event that is running right now. So that's yep. why I, sa I said we're looking at shorter term solution for this one. Yep. But that uh, also doesn't mean 1.8 necessarily. But yeah, it's not necessarily yeah. 1.8. We might be able to squeeze in a client patch in between. We yeah. don't know yet. This is what we're looking at. Yeah, so I just, yeah, it, it's been 48 hours since the patch came out. So yep. we have to make sure that everyone yep. has all the information at hand and we'll, uh, we'll keep passing it on and, yep, yep. Uh, and making sure that you guys are heard. Apparently, we sound like robots. We sound like robots. All right. We are not <laughs> robots, though. We aren't robots. Uh, if a microphone has broken, I am very sorry. Um, but. That's, uh, yeah, we can't fix that right I now. see a few people talking about the sniper jam. Yes, we are looking at that. Uh, we are mm -hmm. looking at that. There's an issue where uh, sniper, I think it's bolt action. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's bolt action uh, snipers. Yeah, M700 and the M44 as well. Uh, there seems to be a jam issue. Might be linked to the RPM limitation we've put in this update. Uh, yep. We are investigating and trying to find out what happened there. Perfect. Uh, yeah, Kat says, if you're hearing robots, please refresh the stream. Maybe it is uh, happening somewhere in the audio codec on, mm -hmm. on Twitch side. I'm not, I'm not sure. I haven't actually seen that issue before. Uh, so yes, global event number one ends on Tuesday. Um, yeah. Yeah, 2 p.m. our time. Yeah, so we did say it would be a week. Uh, so that week ends on yeah Tuesday, mm -hmm. uh, same time as when it started. So yes, that's 2 p.m. our time. Yeah, uh, servers stay up. Yeah, normally we okay. wouldn't need uh, we wouldn't need a server maintenance to uh, end it. Okay, good, good to know. Um, the next one. So yeah, this is the kind of thing. Um, the, We've had 48 hours since it's come yep. out, and we we had ideas on our side about when the next one would come and, and those yep. sorts of things. Um, but people have really strongly attached to the first global yep. event. That might change when the next global event comes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we we had said in the past that this was going to be... The, the rough idea was to do it like kind of once a month. Mm -hmm. uh, or have one month in between each global event, yep. uh, but that depends on that depends on your feedback, guys. Uh, if you you know if you really like it and if you want to see it you know sooner rather than later, we can. Yeah. Uh, we can't like magically create new global event, but we can easily bring back one that uh, has already happened. So yeah, this exactly. one we could we could turn it on again. So that's kind of depending on how successful it is and what kind of feedback we get. Uh, we could definitely reactivate it you know yep. earlier than planned. I saw a uh, a comment before. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't on the stream. It was uh, it was before that. Uh, maybe it was on Reddit or on the forums. I can't remember now. Um, just make this all the time. Mm. No. So so that's. I get that people are enjoying this week, but if we if we make it so that's just the new game, then that's just 
a different game, and that's not the division. The, with the global events, the aim is to have new uh, experiences and these sorts of things. Yeah. So, limited time, but yeah, and you as guys to when they happen, that might be a little bit more flexible. You guys would grow tired of it if it was all the time, so, you yeah. know, uh, it's... We're we are definitely, you know, looking at how regular we want to make it, and we are definitely going to update the plan we initially had. Uh, but we are not looking at making it permanent because then it becomes, yeah, the new norm. Yeah. And uh, and then it's not special anymore. Yeah. Someone say one per month is good. Someone say keep it all the time. Someone say yeah. I've seen some people saying sooner, sooner. Yeah. We'll see. We are we are discussing and yeah. Keep just like give us your feedback. Tell us what you think about it. What about um? I don't know if uh, you've been more involved in those discussions. Does it have to be a week long? Could it be a weekend? Or no, it doesn't have okay. to be a week long. It could be, uh, yeah, it could also be weekends. Right. So, yeah, that's also something we would consider. Good to know. Um, but yes, we'll, uh, we'll listen and see what um, the, the best solution is. Keep the headshot guys. explosion. They are very <laughs> satisfying, <laughs> very, I have to say. A, well, actually, on the PTS, there was, I think in the PTS one, uh, the headshot sound was always that. Yeah, regardless. yeah, there was that, true. Um, even though the event was live. So, okay. Yes, we, well, the main thing is we want you guys to be happy and have fun. So we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, what else have we got? Classified drops. That's one of the, uh, the things that people have been asking about. After the global yeah. event uh, yeah. ends on Tuesday, yeah. um, how do people get their hands on classifieds? Where? How much? Yeah. Like. So the idea is that you will be able to keep getting classified after the global event ended. And uh, we've said that already. The three classified gear sets that exist in a global event right now you will be able to uh, drop them in the world once the event ended. The idea is to, in terms of rarity, we're looking at something like the exotics. Uh, mm -hmm. So we want it to become much more rare once the global event ended. Yeah. Uh, so they will be dropped in caches the same way that the exotics do. So like the field proficiency caches and all the activity caches, so last stand, survival, underground, you will have a chance, similar to the chance to get an exotic, you will have a chance to get a classified. Yeah. Uh, at the same rate. And then we're also adding them to the uh, open world and dark zone named NPCs. Cool. With uh, a chance. Captain's also had to drop a really them. good question. Can you get classified drops in the supply drops, uh, like the season pass supply drops? No, not right now. No, okay. Good to know. Uh, that is a good question, though, so thank yes. you for that. Yes. All right. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, yes. This weekend, I think it's, or I've already put it down there. It's going along there now. Uh, survival well, we free weekend. It's just, yeah. Starts tomorrow. Read there. So if you happen to be one of those people that plays The Division but doesn't have survival, you didn't get the season pass, all that sort of thing. Um, there, I know that a lot of our stream viewers happen to have the, uh, have the season pass, yep. like proportionally a lot more. But uh, there are a lot of you out there that don't as well. Uh, and probably a lot of your friends that, uh, that don't. So please, uh, tell, tell your friends. And if you don't have a tryout, survival for free. This weekend, starting tomorrow, is that a yeah? 3 p.m. CEST yes. tomorrow until Sunday 9 p.m. CEST again. Cool. Yes. Yes. So you just need to own the base game, the core. Yeah. You vanilla, just need you vanilla need, division. You need to own the game. It's not free. It's not like the the free weekend where you can play the game for free. Here, you need to own the game. But if you own the game and don't have survival, you will get access to survival anyway. Great. On all platforms. Yes. Just automatically due to. Is it just just open? So how, how, does, how does it work? I don't need to download anything? Uh, no, I don't think you need okay. to. Do, I mean, I actually, I don't know, but I don't think you do. I think you just automatically get granted the ownership, the ownership okay. of the thing. Cool. Just check it. So yeah, go and, uh, go and try out survival if you haven't. That's my favorite. That's my favorite mode in the whole mm -hmm. game. So I, I uh, recommend it. Uh, anything else before we head off? I mean, we can hang around and, uh, and answer a few more questions if we, uh, if we haven't. But. Oh, are the masks random? I don't know. I assume that they are assigned to... There's random. a tier 1 mask, a tier yeah, 2 mask, and a yeah, tier 3 mask, exactly. right? Exactly. And they'll always be the same. So if you get a, to tier 1, you will get all three. Uh, everyone who only gets to tier 1... No, tier 1 you get 1. Tier 2 you get 2. Tier, tier 3, tier three you get okay, 3. Okay. But they are not random. Right. Like, everybody that is at yeah. tier 1 will get the same we'll get mask. The same mask. Okay. Uh, for this global event. And then they will... Uh, We'll have new masks for the new global events. When will you start talking about 1.8? So not yet. Uh, we don't. We don't know. Not just, yet. Uh, Soon. We're, we're too close. We're in the fog of 1.7 right now. Yeah, we're just two days after the release of 1.7, so it's gonna take. A yeah. But I mean, we want to talk about it. Yep. So yep, yep. we'll uh, we'll talk about it as soon as we can. Yeah. All right. What else we got here? 
Minimal cringe today. It's not too late to make it more cringy. I was going to. <laughs> but I won't. Um, uh, but so, uh, you would have also seen Moobot has uh, been spamming, um, which we've, we've talked about for a long time. There's a lot of jobs open oh, yeah. at Massive. Mm -hmm. So, we have a lot of people. If you really enjoy like talking about the division or you know you have special yeah. special skills um, put them to use for us yeah. that'd be yeah. that'd be cool come and, come and work here it's, it's fun yeah uh, just to uh, i i just saw somebody asking for confirmation will you get chances to drop classified gear in field proficiency caches the same way as exotics yes once the global event ends oh, cool. in field proficiency caches you will have a chance to drop classified ooh that's kind of cool Brush off those knee pads. Cool. Uh, icons for Tenacious Proc. I'm not quite sure about where that are they, question. Where are the other classified sets? They are coming with the other global events. Yes. Uh, what else we got? Yeah, so I mean, yeah. Uh, you just exclamation jobs, as someone was asking. Yes. About that. The other news, and I'm, again, was uh, some people have asked about it uh, on the stream and those sorts of things, about Ubisoft Stockholm. Um, which also has jobs, because that announcement went out, what, uh, two weeks ago? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Two weeks ago. So, if you want to work for Ubisoft, okay, so, to clarify, Ubisoft Stockholm is not working on the division. No. Just, that's, that's a, a partner studio as well. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, come and do that. If you hate Malmö, well, you, you're silly, but Stockholm as well is, uh, is taking people. You want to move to Malmo? We went and saw the hives last night, like in the in the square. It was awesome. That was fun. It was really cool. Yes. Uh, did you guys find any other lag cause? So yeah, that's one of the ongoing things, and I know people have a good um, time talking about. You know, on this on this state of the game, we're gonna say uh, they're aware of lag and they're investigating it. That's that's still true. Still true. Um, so we'll we'll keep investigating. And we'll uh, keep talking about it. Okay. Uh, I see a lot of people have coming up with great ideas for what they think about masks. Mm -hmm. Please, uh, we the Twitch chat log isn't that helpful for us. Please, if you have ideas or feedback or want to get involved in the discussions on the forums, please. Forums.ub.com. Yes. And then you will find that there. All right, anything else before we head off? You didn't sing a song last week, so I so kind of hoped you would. Loot table anomalies. Uh, Kiraton was asking about yeah, loot table anomalies. What Was it a... Uh, that went too fast. I didn't have the time to read the, the second part of the question. Yeah, uh, Susan kind of quick. Was that regarding the, uh, the leaderboards? Because yes, there seems to be some issues with the way it's registering uh, the tokens that are being uh, earned. Like I know that there have been some people saying that they were in a group with other players and they didn't register the same amount of tokens earned on the leaderboard. So there definitely seems to be something fishy there. People are getting dupes inside the same caches. OK, good to know. Oh, no, I know what you're talking the about, fun. You're talking about the encrypted caches and getting two items inside the same encrypted caches, twice the same item inside the same encrypted caches. Uh, all right, yes, this is possible, uh, but yeah, this is not super cool, definitely. No, it's not. Uh, but according to the, to the loot tables, at least there is nothing that prevents that for the moment. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think that kind of covers all we really have to talk about. Today, Anthony will be on the stream. And the same tomorrow. loot is dropping cash after cash, global event, and proficiencies. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't understand that part. Okay, I, I didn't understand that. <laughs> no, not sure. no that I was, I was, I was reading, and I, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't sure which one you were looking for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hyper Bay asking when you're going to fix stamina. Yes, yeah, so stamina is the same as it was in 1.6, um, and we're aware yeah. that it's just one of those, you know. Uh, not so valuable stats. So, still hearing you on that. Yeah, yeah, it's still on the table. It's not something we want to discard. Uh, we might be looking at it. Yes. Okay. But yes, we will. Uh, we'll get back to you. Yeah. With, obviously, state of the game every week. So we'll have a lot. I think probably more to talk about next yeah. week than we had today because with the way things move around here. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of those things that people are having issue with, we'll have a. Yeah. Hopefully, some movement on those. Okay, so, sorry, I, because I <laughs> I was interested in the question from Kiloton. So, you know, he said, like, two Cassidy's in a it. row or four times the same chess piece in a row. Mm -hmm. uh, there is nothing in all, like, loot, um, 
you know, algorithm or whatever that would like try to uh, like skew it so you get the same loot in a, like twice in a row or whatever. So, yeah. I mean, I want to say this is this is pure RNG and this is pure you know uh, chance based. So, hmm. unless I mean. I'm not discarding the fact that there might be a bug with it. Uh, so if you have you know, something that looks really, really wrong, please just like send it to us and we can have a look at it. It isn't something entire. is broken. All right, just just send us the right. just send us the details. Uh, you if can you send have us the some, details and show us the if you have a video or whatever, just send it to us and definitely we can have a look at it. But uh, at least there's nothing that we know of that should skew yeah. uh, and like force you to get you know the same item in a row. Yeah. Cool. All right. We will see you again next week. But yes. So Anthony is on tomorrow night on the stream. So yes. we've been playing 1.7. Um, and then us three will be back playing on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we'll have State of the Game on Thursday. Yep. Sounds good? Yep. All right. Uh, don't forget Survival Free Weekend. Um, and also Global Event ends on Tuesday. All right. That's all. Unless you want to sing that song. Probably not. No, I'm not going to sing. All right. See you later. You guys don't want that. See you guys. Bye.